This is very clever of him. Yeah. He's not calling out Joe for being old and feeble. He's allowing the viewer to make that comparison himself by just showing what great shape he is. He is. That's a natural. I mean, I don't I'm not making an accusation. I'm not saying that he might be doing testosterone with a <laughs> with a, uh, uh, a double of uh, Ozempic. But, but who knows? But it's interesting to me. And I know that, uh, you know, a lot of people think that he's fringy and he will have cer certain beliefs about vaccines that are troubling. But it's so interesting to me when you when people that are considered outside the world of health look like that mm -hmm. and the people who are criticizing him, like mm -hmm. Hotez, who looks like he spent his entire life in the cake aisle at ShopRite. <laughs> it's pretty funny that the so-called MDs and experts <laughs> always look sick, but it's the people with the unorthodox ideas that look like that. And I think it's because people who are into health and fitness are tend to have an open mind and, and their mind gets too open. Yeah. So they'll be, I'm going to try this supplement. I'm going to try this hormone. But I also think this, so you get that kind of weird thing. Last point about, I think it makes sense that Hollywood would uh, pair with Joe Biden because he's living life like an actor. He has to stand on his mark. He reads his lines. He has no more depth than exactly what he's doing right there at that moment. And then he goes home. He actually works at a set. Right. They have a set for the Oval Office. He truly is a cog in a larger enterprise. <laughs> the only thing that's missing for this poor guy is a stuntman because of anything that Joe needs is a stuntman. He keeps falling. He's going to kill himself. Yeah. If he just get, get him a stuntman.